wonderful they started incorporating Cs's own sense of humor in all of the scripts sure. because pretty much he in the beginning it wasn't so much and then Cs just showed up his hilarious self and they incorporated all of his humor into the script well, he's he says you know I'm kind of a guy's guy and this is working out for me <laughs> it's absolutely true absolutely <laughs> Well, um, uh, David Zayas has spoken very highly of you and, and uh, your working relationship. Uh, uh, can you give us maybe some uh, insights on, on, on how you guys uh, worked this, this last season? I mean, there's this budding relationship and, uh, you know, the, the, the big jump to, to getting married. It's pretty intense. Yeah, it is pretty intense. I'll tell you, David and I have known each other for years, for a really long time. We were both in the same acting company, uh, theater company in New York. And uh, so it's so great to be here working in the same series. And then to have this relationship develop is wonderful. He's such a close friend and we feel really comfortable with each other and we understand each other's sense of humor and all that kind of stuff. So I'm excited for the direction they've taken it in. Well, and, and I think that there's uh, the history you guys have together, uh, working together o over time is really apparent because there's this uh, naturalness to how you talk with each other and when you're in proximity and, and that just seems that there's a, a reality there that maybe is it is based on this history you have. Yeah, I think that's true. I'm glad people pick up on it. You know, I hope it translates onto screen because we do feel very comfortable with each other. And like I said, we have great fun. We have so much fun working together. Well, I really hope this year, you know, the ensemble gets the recognition. Uh, be too. <laughs> Me too. I'm really hoping for that. And not just for myself, but because I think everyone does such wonderful work. And it really is. You know, people always say, talk about professionalism, but it can't be talked about enough. There's something about going to work with people who are prepared, ready to work, grateful to work. And in that sense, it's really a collaborative spirit. Everyone just wants the show to be the best it can be. So it be it's already great to be acknowledged in this way and if we win it would be really sweet well and also because you know julie julie benz's character it's she's gone maybe i don't know if she's going to appear in flashbacks or who knows i mean that's gonna be exciting but you know for for her to get uh to the recognition with the ensemble right now would be something absolutely that's that's really true and she deserves it she really does how about last week with uh michael c hall's uh win how excited were we? I think it, it brought us all close, and we were close before, but I think, you know, given the circumstances and just finding out that he was ill, now he's in, re in recovery, it was a wonderful celebration, do you know, of his work and that he's doing well, yeah. you know? Like the icing on the cake. That absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. It's pretty sweet. Now, John Lithgow, <laughs> he's, he's the, officially the creepiest guy in America right now. Have you? I mean, have you met him? He's like this big teddy bear. Yeah. It's it's so insane because he's just warm and lovely and fuzzy, and the creepiest serial killer ever. You know. Well, I, we have I have children's books written by him that I read to my kids that I just can't read right now. That's disturbing. <laughs> That's a little creepy. <laughs> Well, can can you give us any hints or insight about what might be coming up this next year? I'm going to tell you everything that happens. Awesome. <laughs> no, I can't tell you anything. I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen, which is part of the fun about the show. Do you know, I think initially I used to find it frustrating that we didn't know. Sure, as an actor, you're like, I want to know what's going to happen. What's going to happen to me and <laughs> me, me, me. But um, I love that we have no idea what direction it's going to go in. I mean, that just keeps it fresh, you know? Well, I, After season one, I thought, really? You're going to expose? This is too soon. I just thought it was so soon to expose all of this stuff. Who would have thought season two and season three and season four? It just keeps topping itself, the show. So I can't wait to see what's going to happen in season five. I mean, all bets are off, right? I think we're all very excited. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking with us today. So welcome. You're so welcome. <laughs> this is wonderful.